once the hangout is live, it says. Okay, so how are you today? Uh, this is Sunday, uh, May 17th, 2015, 2015. And uh, this is Learning Together, which uh, meets about this time, usually on Sundays. And we have with us today one of my favorite guests, David Wynett, who's uh, hailing to us from Oakland, I, I presume. And uh, we also have Halima uh, Ozimova, who's in uh, the uh, from uh, Tashkent. And we have Nina Liakos from Maryland. And myself, Vance Stevens. And Dave today is going to talk about WeChat. We were just set, setting that up as we were getting started. And he's going to explain about that. And he's going to talk about Poll Everywhere and how he uses tools like this to stimulate student writing. So, David, over to you. Welcome. Thank you, Vince. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Yeah. Um, what I've noticed in my real world classes uh, is that students are not that eager to write, <laughs> and they use they often view it as something of a of a burden. It's it's a homework assignment uh, to be done and forgotten generally, and uh, in my experience, the, if you really want to have good writing, you need to write quite a bit. Uh, granted, you also need correction. So I noticed there was one area in which students were writing a lot, and that was uh, text chatting with each other. So I started to wonder, hmm, you know, how could we kind of take a little detour from just uh, text chatting uh, in in the student's own language to actually using it uh, in with English and perhaps even uh, to discuss things or to work on work on their English. So I have lots of Chinese uh, students and they use a tool called WeChat, uh, which is an offshoot of a another tool you may have heard of called QQ. Um, in any event, uh, it's a company is called Tencent, and uh, WeChat is a very nice uh, little program you can download. Actually, a big program uh, onto your phone or onto your PC, and it allows you to uh, send text messages, uh, voice messages, uh, files. I think, although I haven't done much of that. <clears throat> And also links up with a kind of Facebook type of uh, tool uh, where people can post photos and things like that. Um, so I had my students download these things on their phone, uh, which is obviously you know the big change I think in the in the real world classroom. Everybody has a smartphone, so that opens up all kinds of uh, uh, possibilities that didn't exist uh, before, so everybody had to download uh, WeChat, uh, which was, you know, a bit of a problem for students. From, for example, I have a lot of Saudi students. They tend to use an app called WhatsApp, which I think is much more familiar to Americans and certainly Europeans. Um, but um, the two are very similar. Um, and uh, we just started by creating a group, which is something you can do in WeChat, creating a group just of my students. And anything anybody typed immediately went to everybody in the group. And what I found is that, uh, as I kind of was hoping, uh, people were writing a lot. <laughs> so, uh, um, I we started using it not only uh, outside of class, you know, where we were far from each other, which is what people usually use those tools for, but actually in class uh, to replace speaking. Uh, why? Because uh, you know this was a writing class, so my idea was to maximize the amount of writing people did, and sometimes we had whole classes. I mean, an hour or longer. Where you couldn't, you could hear a pin drop in the 
in the room because people were just focusing on the the texting uh, to the whole group again with me watching and you know mother hen guiding the conversation so they didn't go off in um, meaningless directions as text texting often does as you know mm, and uh, so what I thought we could maybe try today was uh, for all of us to get on WeChat make a group and uh, you can see the uh, you can see how it works maybe some of you are already familiar with it or WhatsApp or similar and um, maybe one of us can pretend to be a student and uh, make mistakes for example or we could take a typical classroom topic like uh, compare and contrast essays or anything uh, along those lines or a grammar point and show how those things can be discussed uh, in a productive way but also in a way that's pretty fun for the students. Uh, I should note uh, that in my classroom I have a big screen that all the students can see uh, which is helpful I think um, but not absolutely required by any means. I don't know if you guys have that. It, it is helpful. Okay, that's uh, that's the little introduction. Any questions, comments at this point? Um, yeah, I'm just to see how this works. Uh, we're all, I think we're trying to download WeChat. I'm at web.wechat.com. I clicked on the it said web P PC, PC, web PC or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've, got, I've got a QR code here. And uh, it, there doesn't seem to be any way to get into the chat. Right. Okay, that's my bad. Let me specify what you need to do. Okay. If you have your smartphone handy, you need to download yeah. WeChat onto your smartphone. You said you used it on your PC. Right. What you're going to do is once you've got it on your smartphone, you're going to press the QR button. There's a little plus button in the upper right hand corner of the WeChat app. I'm going to get my smartphone. Okay. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Sure. I'll use my iPad. Can I do that? But the QR code I doesn't, so, yeah. doesn't read with the iPad. Um no. do you have a do you have a camera on your iPad? Of course. Well, if you... Uh, it just says... Uh, okay, let me try it again. I'll, if I'll, you uh, show that QR code to your camera, it should work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. This is what I use. You kind of take a... Yeah, you kind of take a, a, a picture. A picture of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't actually have to press the uh, click button, though. It's automatic once you've uh, got WeChat going on your, on your phone. Okay, I tried to open it in Chrome, and uh, oh, now it's gone to a different URL. Okay, log in. We, uh, we. Oh, it's, oh, it says QR code not identified. That's strange. That's, that's what it did in Chrome as well. Is this uh, a we WeChat that you've got going? Uh, Web.wechat.com, which I got. Try from. try just downloading WeChat from your. Um, Apple Store, whatever it, whatever okay. it is that the Apple uh, tablet yeah. uses. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. called Google Play for Android. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, when the students, uh, how do you go from the the uh, the chat genre? You know that the students do when they're chatting to mm -hmm. one another. Have you got it? Is there that one I want to get? There are the two. Corner, there's yeah. one that says WeChat. That's this one. And there's another That's one that says WeChat 3. WeChat and WeChat 3? Free, F-R-E-E. -E. F free is good. I like free. Yeah, I like free. This one also seems to be free because it just says get. Uh, so WeChat, um, WeChat, it has four stars. Mm -hmm. It's 222, two, two, whatever that means. And then it says offers Apple Watch at. Uh, you know something? I've got WeChat on my <laughs> iPhone. 
Why am I'm I not I'm going? Right. Right? I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to get this one and see what happens. If you want okay, to pretend to I'm be there, student, okay. I'm going to uh, also log into WeChat and uh, do that QR code thing. You just went dark. Oh, now you're back. I did. You did. You yeah. For some reason, I can see your avatar. It might be frozen. I'm not sure. Is uh, moving? I did I go. Hi, Michael. Uh, Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Here, huh? Great. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. I wonder if there's a webcam connection problem or. It was working fine just a moment ago. Let's say hi to Michael while you're sorting through that. Michael, coming in from Adelaide, Australia. His avatar is here. He looks like he's anyway, looking around the okay. corner. Yeah. Uh, we can hear you fine. My phone. It's taking a while to install. Is it very big? Yeah, e, it's about 50 megs, I think. Okay, <clears throat> well, I've got it running on my uh, my iPad. So, do you go ahead a contact or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you add me? I I now have it on my Android tablet, and also I have it on my uh, PC. So uh, my name in WeChat is uh, David Winnett, all lowercase, no spaces, David Winnett, mm -hmm. W-I-N-E-T. So if you add me as a contact, then we can set up a group. Okay. I'm going to actually freeze my video here so that I don't have many, I don't, uh, this computer is a little bit dicey. Dave, did you say after I install that the next step is to scan the QR code? If you want to run it on your PC, yes. If you're content to run it just on your phone, then you don't need to do that. Okay. So you have to scan it on your PC. You have to scan the QR right. code on your PC. So you the camera. Right. On, on, the, on the smartphone in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little plus. If you click the plus, you'll see four choices, I think, one of which is QR code, and which you then, um, if you click that, you'll uh, come up with a camera, which you point at the PC screen or the uh, Mac screen should be showing your QR code there. Now. Well, where I am now, I it, it installed and I opened it. And now it's asking me to log in, but of course mm -hmm. I don't have a login. Right. So, so you I need to do that. To sign up first. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Good idea. Mm -hmm. So then it wants my number. I see, Michael. You might be having a little trouble with your connection or something because you're. We see you there. Uh, we can kind of hear you. Hear an echo from your machine, but I don't hear anything now. But anyway, you're you're actually here in the chat as far as we can see. And I've just added. Oh no, I've got to add. Add Dave. Here's David is there, and uh, now it says send a greeting. So do you have your students add you, and then you yes. chat with them, or I make a group uh, once okay. they've added me. I see Vance Stevens hmm. here, and I'm adding you, Vance. Okay, to a group. Would you recommend allowing WeChat to access my contacts? Um, that's it says really, it will be encrypted, you, and they will do not you think store you, it. You, uh, I mean, can I use it if I with, don't allow it? I don't know Do you if have you any can. issues with the NSA because, you know, I you don't can assume so, that the U.S. and Chinese government will both have all your info, but they probably already do. So. Well, the U.S. does, but I just yeah. assume not, you know, allow China in. So can I use it if I don't allow by just going to people that I know are on uh, Give it a shot. I don't know, actually. I just blindly... 
Yeah. Like, anyway, the, um, if, if someone, the, the countries that are surveilling you can switch on your phone, they have uh, means of doing that. They can switch on your phone anyway, so they can they can locate it. Uh, they can set up fake cell towers that will uh, scoop in lots of phones and track the ones they want. I'm reading some interesting books about this. Um, anyhow, let's see. Okay, so I'll send a greeting. Okay, I'm going to send a, a greeting to David. What I'm really interested yeah. in to see. Hold talk. I can talk. I'm, I'm scanning for pictures. <laughs> yeah, I got your uh, message there, uh, Vince. You got a message? Okay, is it a voice message? It's a voice message, and I am now. Uh, I got two voice messages. Okay, uh, I've just sent David two voice messages in WeChat. Now, right, how that do I add could you? be oh, interesting for a writing class. Friends. Um, do I just search for you, Dave? Uh, you want to add me as a contact if you're in WeChat now? I'm trying to do that. Okay. Let me see if it works. Oops, I just spelled the name wrong. I found what, the what happens if the capital This is uh, Nina. Yeah. My, na my name in WeChat is uh, David Winnett. It's David Winnett, but all lowercase and no space between the first and last name. Yeah, it wants to. Okay. Um. One thing that I've been doing with students, um, I've been trying this with students, it, it works better with me than it does with students, but um, is I've got this, uh, the chat window here, here where there's an option here, of course there's always an option on an iPad to use the microphone. So I'm going to see what happens when I activate a uh, microphone and see how it comes out in the message window. Vance, what's your um, profile name? Username. Do you have one? I don't That's have one. That's a good question. I mean, David I have one up. Uh, it looks what like is my Vance's name, David? name is is his name, Vance Stevens, capitals and spaces and everything. Uh, okay. Appears to be anyway. NSA not only has my location but also my name now. Okay. <laughs> They're starting to triangulate. Well, but mine says no Vance Stevens result found. Well, I'm going to uh, add. Okay both of you to a group, Nina, so then you'll be able to add him separately as well. Yeah. Once you're in the group, you'll see him. Uh, okay. But I'm still not seeing you, Nina. Well, I added you. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'm okay. testing the voice capability one David on WeChat. No, it's not one David Winnett. It's just David Winnett. Uh, when I put WeChat ID, oh. I put it correctly. We chat no and it has I can't tell what this picture is but it's like a bear <laughs> no it's an orangutan is that right yes oh good well, so oh, you've I got me but I'm not reading you yet here let me let me try to add you Nina since you're not showing up here did you you say okay. you don't have um, a name as such did you well, enter I just Nina Liakos yeah, I put Nina Liakos. All right. I'm going to see if see. that WeChat works. WeChat team. Nina. Make Liakos. sure it's L-I-A and not L-A-I. Right. Searching. Uh, no, you're not coming up. How There's interesting. You see me, but I don't see you. So I can't add you because I don't see you. Uh, that's very unfortunate. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, what I'm doing with my students, as I mentioned, is I'm using tools. Uh, I'm taking advantage of the voice capabilities in most. Uh, things you can do on an iPad and because everyone hates to write on iPad so if you can activate voice you can get a lot of writing done that way so that was the result 
so you can actually now I don't know if it will work with your students because my students don't have very good luck with getting their voices to come out in text you're talking about um, uh, voice to text yes voice to text I'm, mm -hmm. I'm experimenting a bit with having them write that way so mm -hmm. uh, for example I mean, I've, I've experimented with different things um, a, one thing I can do is I can put them in Google Docs and then I can use the voice feature to give them feedback so mm -hmm. rather than having to type I can have their Google Doc up and then I can add a comment oh Nina you're having a nice ringtone there okay so uh, I can uh, have their their Google Doc on my iPad and then I can press on something and then add a comment and mm -hmm. then I can speak the comment and then send it and then they'll see it pretty quickly mm -hmm. Or I can also say go down to the bottom of the document and speak what I think they're trying to say, mm -hmm. and then that comes out. So they can then replace their, that text with um, you know whatever it is that I was yeah. trying to correct. And do you do that in real time or? Uh... You can do that in real time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. be walking around the class with your iPad and. Uh, mm -hmm. Pulling the students' work up on your iPad and mm -hmm. you know sitting there working with them, uh, you used to be able to do it like you said from the front of the screen, uh, front of the class. You'd have the projector uh, with one student uh, you know, on the screen. Mm -hmm. I used to feed back to one student at a time that way, and the other students would tend to sort of tune out because although it's meant to be instructive for all of them, they don't really take it that way. <laughs> uh, but um, Anyway, with the iPad, it's really you know you can go around among them and you can uh, you know interact pretty quickly with them. So that's kind of neat. But what I'm trying to play with now is getting them to write using these tools. So because they they really don't like writing on the iPad and they'll do it, but you know it's mm -hmm. it's really tedious. And mm -hmm. um, so I had them write essays today. Well, they were they were 150 word things and. Now I'm, I've got them on paper. I'm going to now read them into the Google Doc. I had them share a Google Doc, and so now I'll read them in, and then they'll have what they wrote on paper in a Google Doc. So this is things I'm experimenting with and seeing if uh, you know. So that, that's a little faster because they can write quickly on paper, uh, but of course you can't do much with it. So if you can actually convert it into text and then give it to them, and they can then do the revisions. Uh, in the Google Doc from the text that they crashed out on a piece of paper. And All right. I, um, I, I yeah. just jumped off the deep end and allowed WeChat to access my Google contacts. <laughs> Can you believe I just did that? Anyway, so now Vance is in one of my Google contacts. So I did a search for Vance, and he, he, he comes up, and it says Vance Stevens has not joined WeChat yet. Send email invitation. Um, that's odd <laughs> well, because uh, now okay. I have Vance on my WeChat. He's in I my list of contacts. I now. WeChat. Let's see if I... so, and I'm wondering if I were to delete all this right now, would the Chinese government still have access to all my Google contacts? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. What your Google contacts? I'll have it already. <laughs> Google's oh, one of the companies that had to build a back. Build a what? Vance froze. Mm-hmm. So I should not click on this send email invitation. If you are uncomfortable, uh, and I wouldn't blame you a bit, uh, maybe we can just, you can just follow along. Uh, I'll open a shared screen, and you can follow along. And well, and I, I might just undo it afterwards. Well, you can I probably, it, yeah, I think unload. it's easier to learn about it if you're doing it. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm still wondering why and I've probably uh, already I couldn't add you. Five. Don't know why I couldn't add you on WeChat. Well, there, there uh, or you couldn't many. add me on WeChat yet. I'm still not seeing anything from you. Do you want to try adding me again, Nina? Um, okay. So. So no, you the thing is on you, your phone. Not, yeah. Yeah. Here are my choices. 
friend radar, join private group, scan QR code, mobile and other contacts, official accounts. See, I don't think that you're... There's nothing for add contacts. I'm going back. Well, I see... Let me show you what this uh, screen mm, is. Mm. I don't know if you can read it. I can't Let's read see. it. Uh, but those different mm. things, it's recommended friends, group chats, tags, then it says my name, and then WeChat team, and then it says one David Wynette. And when I click on that one, I can see that that is you, the arrangement. And what is it? Uh huh. And what does it say you, when you open one David Wynette? Is there an option to talk to me? Free call. Can you see? Free call. Message. Free call. Messages. Uh, why don't you try sending me a message and see what that does? Your screen looks different than mine, so I'm having okay, a little so trouble. You have added one David Winnett as your WeChat contacts direct chatting. Okay, so I'm just going to say hello. Mm -hmm. All right. I just said oh, hello. I got something from... Uh, are, is, is your... Uh, Photo, uh, you in a blue shirt around a bush? Yes, it's a fern in my back. Okay, here. now we got you. A fern. A fern. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm adding you. Ah, lovely. Okay, so now I have added you, and you said hello, David, and now I'm going to answer you. Hello, Nina. And send. Okay, got it. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to try to add both of you to um, to um, the same group. That's, that is how we make a group. So um, I click on the plus sign again. It gives me an option to, net, uh, to add people. I'm looking for Nina. There you are. And I am okaying that. And now we're in a group chat. So anything, if you agree to join this group chat, I've invited Nina. Oh, and now I need to also invite where, where would I Vance should be here also. I, I, mm. I, I don't see where this would come in, this invitation. Um, I don't know if it will come in. You may just receive. Uh, try. Uh, you may just be in the group now. So try typing something and see if it shows up in our group chat. Well, where, though? I mean, on the oh, screen where no I wrote to you? I have t now two things in my list. One is one David Wynette. And the other one is WeChat team. If I go to one David one at. Um, I don't. There's a plus sign at the bottom next to the emoticon. What does it do? Um, yeah. The, uh, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna try something else again to advance to the chat I've got with you, Nina. So it's saying group chat. Vance, you should have received an invitation. Oh, we lost Vance. Oops. <laughs> that I would explain that a lot. So at present, let's see if you're receiving my messages. Nina, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a message that says, Nina, what's up? Okay? Okay. And I'm sending that specifically to our group chat. Did you receive that? I got a little buzz. Okay. But I don't see the message. So there must be some other place where I can look for it. All right, here we go. All right, I got it. I'm in the group chat. I don't oh, cool. know exactly how I got there. Great. You know how it is the first time. It's always... Seems like we'll never get there, and then. How about Michael? Michael, are you? Oh uh, yes, this? let's add Michael. 
good point, isn't it? Let's see if my, I'm not sure. Oh, good. Looks like we're all in the chat here. Michael. I don't know if Michael signed up because he came in late and then disappeared. So I don't have him at all. He uh, doesn't appear to have a microphone. Michael, can, you know what we need is uh, we need to know EASL. People don't have microphones assigned to each other. So, Michael, do you want to to download WeChat and try this with us? Michael is in the text chat. Oh, good. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah. He said he could hear. Okay, hi, Michael. We're playing. Well, we don't with... need you here. We're we're gonna just do texting today, but you have to get into right. WeChat. Maybe yeah, he already because... has it. He's in the same hemisphere as China. I had to sneeze. I hope that I turned off my mic before I sneezed. <laughs> it's very... Oh, he's in a hotel. Small laptop. How small is it, Michael? <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> you globetrotter, you. Where are you, Michael? Are you still in Australia? Thailand. Cool. On vacation or working? <laughs>